You've probably seen this animation when setting up a map. A smooth stroke animation with the word hello. It's simple, elegant, and very Apple. But what if you want to recreate it without After Effects? In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create this stroke animation using only Figma and Lotslab. By the way, my name is Daryl. I'm a designer at Lotslab. Now, let's jump right in and let's start in Figma. All right, so over to our Figma file, we have here the designs, but let's just focus on this design. And next thing that we're gonna do is we're just gonna open a plugin and the plugin is called Lotslab Figma Tilata Animation. Once that's open, basically what we're gonna do here is we just need to select our design. It's like that and let's hit copy and let's transfer it to our Lotilab editor. I'll just pause this one quickly and transfer it to our Lotilab editor. And as you can see, I've got a couple of like variants of the same animation. Let's play the sample right here. And yeah, there's that. And we're gonna recreate one of these variants later as well. But again, let's get back to our main design. What I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna press F so that I could enable the artboard tool and draw an artboard. But to be more precise, I'll just type it in. 2000 by 1000. There we go. And then I'll turn on the background as well. And I'm gonna paste the design. Quickly center it. And there you go. That's basically how you transfer your Figment designs to Lotilab. Simple as that. And now as for the next part is we're gonna animate this main design. So let's start on animate mode. And in this mode, there's only one rule. Anything that you change in this specific point in time will be added as a keyframe. A keyframe is basically your way of saying at this point in time, I want this to happen. So for example, I'll create a square, turn on animate mode, and at one second, I'll type it in. At one second, I want this square to move on the other side. And there you go. We've basically animated our square from left to right. And if we expand this layer, you can see the animated property, the position. And there you go. That's basically how you animate things inside of Lotilab. That being said, let's get back to the main design and delete the square. Delete that one and select our main design. And over to zero seconds, what we're gonna do is we're gonna select all these stroke elements and under reveal path, let's select sweep end and drag it to zero. And at 0 0.2, at 0 0.2, Let's drag the sweep end back to 100. And if we preview that one, that's basically the foundations for this entire animation. Lovely. So now I'm just going to change the easing quickly to slow down. All right. Now that we've changed the easing, what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to offset the animations for all of them. So what we want to do is that once the previous animation ends, we want the next animation to start. So let's do that one quickly, offsetting them all one by one all right a couple more there we go there we go this one right here and this one right here last two last one all right now let's play this back lovely but oops there's a problem in here let's zoom in as you can see the o right here starts at this point instead of this point Let's quickly adjust that one. So we wanted to start at this point. So let's, let's set this to 100. And let's set this to 100 as well. And if we play this back, there we go. We've made it to animate at this point instead of the other point. Lovely. So now if we play this back and zoom out quickly, it should be all fine. Lovely. All right, that's basically it for this animation that ends the tutorial no i'm just kidding all right so let's just quick um quickly tweak the timing for it and then we could move on to the next variant so for that one the end starts a little no the end stays a little longer like so i'm just gonna select all of the keyframes in here and i'm gonna drag it a little forward so that i could adjust the first keyframe to start to be a little longer as well and there we go that's basically our Apple hello animation. And let's name this our main animation. Lovely. And now as promised, we're gonna create a variant of this animation. And let's try to recreate um, this variant right here. So to duplicate this animation, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hold option or alt if you're in Windows and drag the artboard like that. Lovely. Now I'm just going to select the design and I'm going to delete the frame background right here. 
and I'm going to replace all the strokes to be this one right here. I'm going to reference the stroke with it's 36. I'm going to copy that and paste it right here. 36. Lovely. And then I'm going to change the cap and join to round. All right, cool. And now to do the sticker effect, what we're going to do is we're just going to add another stroke. And let's change this stroke to be red. And let's bring it down. I'll close this one quickly. And let's reference the original stroke width. Copy that. And let's double that one. So that's 36 times 2. Lovely. Let's change the open joints around as well. All right. And now let's change the color to white. And now, finally, let's add a drop shadow. And there we go. If we play this back. Oops, sorry about that. If we play this back. Now we have the same animation, but in different design. Lovely. I'm going to call this animation sticker. And there you go. That's basically how you animate the hello, the Apple hello animation. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you liked it. If you do, make sure you hit like, subscribe, and the notification icon so that you get notified in more tutorials like this. That being said, I hope to see you soon in the next tutorial. And have fun recreating this. All right, goodbye. <laughs>